Hello, I'm Sean McMahon, speaking to you from Argentina. I'm a steam locomotive engineer and work at the National Institute of Industrial Technology in Buenos Aires. It is totally false to believe that the steam locomotive lost its preeminence as a competitive form of railway traction when deciding policies for the upgrading, renewal or building of new rail transport systems due to a commonly believed myth that it had arrived at its limited development imposed by its very nature. This was to be believed by traction users, persuaded by the abundant diesel locomotive publicity, assisted by the motto of the world economic and banking leaders, there is plenty of oil for everybody. As we have unfortunately learned and consequently suffered in recent years, the motto has not held true into the 21st century. Thus, serious alternatives must be looked at Fortunately for many of us, steam locomotive development never ceased, and indeed continues to this very day. Its leading edge during the first decades of the 21st century is to be found in Argentina. The fact that steam traction continues to survive and thrive in the ever-increasing tourist train industry has helped the industry grow and allowed serious research and development programs to be carried out at regional, national and international levels. Since the 1950s, when the phasing out of steam on the railways began, a great number of facts and overall changes have taken place. Environmental protection and preservation have become an essential part of everyday life. Oil prices are rising as a result of the supply and demand factor, which is commonly referred to as the peak oil factor. When and where the two corresponding lines in the XY axis cross is referred to as a point of no return within the oil industry. It is commonly believed by experts in this field that the transition point is occurring at this moment in time with the resulting economic crisis that we suffered during 2008. A revived economy will receive stimulus so as to handle the upcoming and very seriously harsh energetic problems. The price of oil is not stable, thus indicating its scarcity on the world trade market. So in effect, the byproducts from a barrel of oil, such as petrol, gas, oil itself, should be kept in reserve for those everyday uses that cannot be converted to a new and modern energy system. Global atmospheric climate change is forcing us to make much more short and long-term use of biomass in its many forms as a main energy source in everyday lives. Luckily in Argentina we have an abundance of such. Significant thermodynamic advancements have taken place since the 1950s whilst many more are being made at this point in time. This allows us to work in a much more advanced way with heat exchanging machines, i.e. steam engines, right now and into the future. Important and revolutionary mechanical engineering advancements have also taken place during the past 60 years. And of course, much more are occurring on a daily basis, thus allowing engineers involved in this work to play at will with the contemporary designs requiring finite analysis. The days of hit and miss and cut and try have long gone from the steam engineering world. The whole world situation in relation to available energy resources, food, transport, communication, private industry, leisure activities, along with a whole host of other items, has changed dramatically. Further changes are occurring at an exponential rate Hence the modern steam business in the form of tourists and other forms of trains must be at pace with all of this. Nowadays, general ignorance of the fact is no excuse. The original Stevensonian layout and general scheme of the steam locomotive does not impede its modernization. The Stevensonian steam locomotive demonstrates some characteristics that have either been forgotten, simply not fully appreciated, or just misunderstood by many. The main reasoning for this simple fact is because the steam locomotive in its classic, classical form matured before thermodynamics became a basic and everyday science. It can withstand an incredibly high amount of abuse, whilst at times convenient, it must be understood that this is not a long-term benefit. So the key point here is to understand the steam locomotive's true flexible nature in being able to deal with geographically isolated and technically hostile locations. The utmost simplicity and efficiency of transferring the power of the piston to the wheels by use of just a simple connecting rod and the lack of any transmission is noteworthy. 
Thanks to the gas producer combustion system, and nowadays the cyclonic gas producer combustion system, it is now possible to develop very high power outputs using any reasonable fuel without the need for structural alterations. This is a fundamental point to be understood in relation to the combustion of biomass because it does not contribute to any type of global warming effect. Steam locomotives have for far too long been treated as mechanical machines when in fact they are heat engines and new generations of owners, operators and maintainers need to be re-educated in this area so as to gain the maximum benefit from their engines. Hence a corresponding overall annual cost saving of many thousands of dollars. In the past, it was true that boilers were a source of heavy maintenance expenditure. Argentina has led the way in the development and full testing of an internal boiler water treatment regime which has extended boiler life by decades, whilst at the same time keeping the owners and operators happy by not having to spend several thousands of dollars in boiler maintenance and repairs every year, not to mention the overall general awkwardness of having to wash out boilers at frequent intervals in, ge in geographically isolated areas, such as Ushuaia and Rio Turbio, let alone having to take the locomotive out of revenue tra earning traffic for two days. The application of roller bearings to steam locomotive axle box it leads to a 40% reduction in the overall number of locomotives required for any given level of traffic. The overall cost for true second generation steam locomotives should be in the region of 60% of the very best North American first generation steam locomotives of the 1950s. The latter was mechanically superior to any other steamers running anywhere in the world, but unfortunately hardly any attention was paid to the thermodynamic design, hence poor overall efficiency figures. This was not the case in France. Again, figures from the Rio Turbio Railway show exceptional performances using relatively small-sized, narrow-gauge 750mm locomotives, while the Frocker Auso Fuegino's performance figures are impressive, to say the least. Though development has yet to reach its peak at either of these railways, Third generation steam locomotives, which are, are the, the next big breakthrough in relation to energy and efficiency, will lead to even, f even further significant cost savings for owners and operators. Experience to date has proved that tourist steam traction does not need to be old, dirty and smelly in order to join the crowds. In fact, to ensure reliable service for the fair paying passenger, nothing could be further from the truth. Steam just needs to be there and pulling the trains in order for the customers to be satisfied. Ideal in the 21st century you should take advantage of all modern steam technology proven in service to date. The two main pillars of the modification scheme at Ferrocarro de Asolo Fuegino in Aswaya have been thermodynamic improvements and mechanical redesign of detailed components using standard industrial techniques, including the incorporation of as many of the off the shelf items as possible in order to raise both thermal and overall efficiency at the drawbar with a corresponding lower of the operating, maintenance and renewal costs associated with such. It should be borne in mind that FCAF offers an all-year-round steam-hauled train service and it is fair to say that in the year 2015 it is the most efficiently run and most cost-effective railway in Argentina, if not in Latin America. Its future is secure and it continues to expand. There are always risks associated with any form of progress and steam haul tourist trains and the railways are no exception to that rule. Arigato. Cosena.